Hey guys, how's it going? Stefan from Paint Boss here. Just wanted to give you guys a little walkthrough. We're on another project right now. This one's kind of a sweet house. This was supposed to be a parade before the coronavirus. Um, I'm gonna give you one more little video of the Bondo, why we use it, and why there's so much in this house. Kind of what we're looking for when we do our trim packs. Alrighty, so here's for everybody out there looking at Sherwin or Dunn or Benny Moore or their hardware store, this is our favorite stuff to use. Now we have already caulked, we've already spackled, so everywhere you're seeing a red dot, that's already been spackled twice, sanded, and then we did a millwork primer over this stuff. And uh, our Bondo is there to now give it that final smooth look so that when we shoot this thing, it looks like furniture. So you can see, we do not skimp when it comes to door jams. The reason why you see so much Bondo on these jams, it may look a little excessive, but our builders pay us to hide the finger joint pine. The inside casing, at least here, I don't, not everybody does it that way, but this is like an RB12 cool profile, that's MDF. Baseboard's MDF, but all of these jams are actually finger joint pine. You see that? If you don't do that, when you put your finish coat on it, you're gonna see all the wood grain. You see all that wood grain up there? And that's what our clients pay us to do, is hide all that wood grain, because here all the doorstop and this jam are always finger joint pine. So we'll just do a little walkthrough real quick. Cool little mud bench locker. Well, I guess it's just a storage locker because we're upstairs. Cool part of this one. A little laundry chute. Boom, right down to the laundry room. We got a bedroom, Jack and Jill bath. You can see all the cabinets are already installed in this one. So yay for us having to mask all that stuff. Yeah, just a whole lot of prep you can see. We're just about ready. So tomorrow we'll have everybody have all hands on deck and it'll be a sanding day. And we'll try to make our way through. And we go into the bonus room. You can see everywhere you see baseboard means they're gonna put carpet down. So we can finish all of that baseboard. Now downstairs, they're not gonna have as much baseboard because it's all hardwood floors. Little mechanical closet. But we treat every jam the same. And when we go downstairs, I'm gonna show you what happens when we sand that Bondo. So a couple of bedrooms up here into the open stairs. This is all white oak treads. We're gonna stain this kind of a natural white oak color. And then we're gonna paint all these risers. Reason that's not prep right now is we have to stain and seal these treads first so we could get a good line right about there. Uh, so we do that one backwards. Going into some beautiful lockers. Those are all closed face. I think we have about 67 cabinet doors here left for us. And here's the famous tongue and groove ceiling. This is going to be really pretty. You can see our carpenter, Alex of Custom Carpentry, did this one. They did a nice job. Pretty linear nail pattern, so it makes it a little easier for us to follow. You can see there's going to be a lot of latex. Now on our jobs too, this is a pre-primed MDF 8 foot door. But you can see pretty much all the door companies. We still have to address the edges if you don't do that. Uh, everybody's so busy right now, those edges will stand out and we'll have to do it at touch up. So we go ahead and bondo all of our edges like that. Alright, nice little... Homework station room. See that base? And here we go to the nice built in. Just bondo for days. There's the bondo master. Alex. It's just everywhere. I'm taking 
Why you can it? <laughs> well, I want to see one thing real quick. So you see all of these casings. So you see it all looks like Bondo. What we're trying to cover is all of that wood grain right there. So there you can see the difference. It's kind of pink now. Super red. So that's how we know. And Alex is doing all the bondo like that to cover all this stuff. Because that's all wood grain that would come through our acrylic enamel. No matter how many coats we do, all that grain's going to come through. But we float it like this. So when we do it, that's why it looks like when Alex is shooting, it's always furniture. That's the key right there. And here we go into the office. A little three-piece crown up there. Be nice, all the closets are done. Check out this living room. Very brick and into the master bedroom. Some nice center right beam. Now, this is going to be really pretty when it's done. Good selections. Love the cabinet color. But look at that, in case you thought we ever skimped on prep, there's the proof. We take our time and every single dot you see is a scratch, an imperfection, or a nail. That's why it all looks so good when it's all said and done. All right, everybody, thank you. And uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Paint Boss. Appreciate the support.